Hey guys, it's Anthony. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to go over the Apex Trader Funding Series, where we showcase ourselves building towards getting the first withdrawal and the first payout from Apex Trader Funding. And if you're new here, then you're going to want to hit that subscribe button because what I do is I'm just showing that if you have the proper trading skills and discipline and the right strategies, then you can make $10,000, $20,000, $40,000 a month or more with only a couple hundred dollars of your own money by using properms. So hit that subscribe button to, for more. And without further ado, let's dive into the update. Make sure you stick around all the way to the end because I'm going to drop a gem of a tip, a trading tip. Uh, hit that thumbs up button if you appreciate this tip. Currently, we have 16 accounts. Top 10 are evals. Bottom 6 are PA accounts. As you can see, we have 50K PA accounts, right? We have six, uh, five of those left. I, I paid the lifetime fee for those, so I'm not worried about those. They're sitting in drawdown. And if you didn't see my last video, basically it blew up most of the PAs. And you can go back on each week and see how I took the accounts from evals to PAs and then almost to the first payout. But then I had some issues, uh, took big drawdown from the issues and then withered away the accounts from my strategies and uh, lost most of the accounts. So we have these PAs. I got this 25k account, a PA on Friday. So past that one. And I'm working towards doing 10 with a trade copier, 10 150k accounts. They're currently in 4k profit. So we made about 41,000 this past week. However, 41,000 of, of fake money, we can't withdraw that because it's on the evals. We need to get these to 159,000, so about 5,000 more on each account. I'm expecting to get there in about two weeks with my strategies, and we'll go over my strategies in a, in a moment. Uh, but if you haven't watched my video, actually, I put it in a full video on my, the strategies I use. I'll link it up in the cards if you haven't seen that already. So in about two weeks, around early March, I'm expecting the first payout, and I'm expecting the big payout to be about March 15th to be about 25k and I'll, I'll share how I anticipate this and how I'm confident in this in, in a moment. But before we do that, let's go over to the risk of ruin. So my personal strategy is when I trade at NQ, which is NASDAQ, I trade on the three minute chart only. It's about a 1.3 R, 70% win rate. And I trade NQ on the three minute. My typical stop loss is about 15 points. Typical take profit is about 20 points. And my uh, max drawdown amount is 5% because on the 150k accounts, I can lose 5,000 before I lose the accounts. And my risk per trade is about 0.6%. Why? Because one contract, 15 points is $300. So my, my loss with one contract is $300. I use two contracts and my loss is $600. That's 0.6% if we're using a max drawdown of 5,000. It averages about uh, seven trades a week, which is about 14 trades every two weeks. So in the next two weeks, uh, if I take all the strategies on an average two weeks, then um, based on this, I should be fully funded. Uh, let's just see the, the probability of me losing the accounts, right? So 0% chance of me losing the accounts. This in the next two weeks would get me funded and pass in the evals. And then two weeks after that is when I would take the first withdrawal. On ES, ES is a little different. Usually my stop loss in ES is about four or five points, but then my take profit also is about four or five points. Win rate is a little higher with this one, and I size bigger. So I size four contracts, which means that five points is a 1K loss, and max drawdown is 5%. So here, you know, my risk for trade is a little higher. My win rate is a little higher, and it's a one-to-one. -one. There's less trade trading opportunities, though. So it's usually about 10 trades a week. So in two weeks, not likely to lose accounts. So as long as I stick to only trading on the three minutes chart on ES and NQ with my specific setups, which I do, and I read my trading plan before I the market opens every single morning, I have my full routine. I don't trade unless I go through that routine and I'm extremely disciplined. So as long as I go through that, I don't have any more hiccups with Ninja Trader, then there's no reason for me to not pass in the next two weeks. And there's no reason for me not to get to the first withdraw March 15th. So that's what I'm covering there. Now, with all that being said, let's dive into the, the charts. So we'll go over to NASDAQ and I'll, I'll just explain something. All right, so this is the game changer for your trading. It's it's simply volume. If you're not using volume with market structure, uh, this you gotta pay attention. This is gonna be fantastic. It took my trading to the next level, honestly. And I'll just go over a few uh, cases, right? So we know market structure. And if you're not familiar, again, you can click the link in the cards. I go over market structure and my trading strategies. But essentially all I'm doing all I'm doing here is I'm looking for a high volume reversal candle or a high volume engulfing candle with high volume in the direction of market structure that I want to trade. Now, that sounds complicated, but let's just go into an example. So Friday, pre-market, you can see we're bearish, right? No reason to take longs. No reason to take longs. So if you want to take a short, you want to ask yourself, where can I short? And I only short on candle closes, three-minute candle closes. Higher probability time is when there's higher volume. 
So here's an example. So market opens. I like to wait for the first, you know, three to five candles to go. Maybe 9.45 is when I like to start looking at, at things because I want to see the volume. Here is the first high volume candle, uh, sell candle that's higher volume than the buy candle after the market open settles. Why? You see these green candles? This is uh, has a lot of volume, right? Has a lot of volume, has a lot of volume. This green candle has a lot of volume, but this red candle is a bearish engulfing with more volume than the buy volume. So you just short on this candle close, you get an 843 entry, 20 points down. That This candle alone goes 30 points. That's one trade done, right? You wanna wait for a pullback, and then you wanna wait to see if market structure shifts bearish or bullish. So we get a pullback, we come back down, we get a retest, bullish engulfing above, right? Oh, look, switched market structure bullish at around 1040 because we have a low, we have a high, we have a higher low, boom, higher high. So now we shift the market structure, no more shorts, we're looking for the long, right? So at this point, we wanna see when's the next high volume engulfing candle, green candle, with higher volume than the sell volume. So we go uh, here, this doesn't have more volume, this doesn't have more volume, this one doesn't have more volume. Oh, look, this one has more volume than, than this most recent sell candle. There's a wick against it, but it's still an engulfing. If you want to be even safer, you would take the engulfing here. Why? Because this one also has more volume and it's closing above at least the highs to the left. So you have more confidence. You take the entry here, 20 points. You take the entry here, 20 points. That's 40 points done by 11 a.m. So you're up 40 points on Friday, right? 40 points is a great day. And for me, it's a fantastic day. I use two contracts. That alone equals 1.6K. And that's with two contracts. And I have times 10 accounts. I actually have more accounts, but times 10 accounts equals plus 16K. Plus 16K in the first hour and a half of trading day. Uh, two trades done for the day. I don't know about you, but that's a great day, right? We'll go over to another day just, just to be, you know, just so we can see more examples. So I, I'm just showing you this because I want you to just go ahead and re -back test using your strategies with market structure, but then add this in. Okay, so market opens here, 930. Uh, clearly bearish, so we're looking for shorts, right? Uh, 945 is here. Uh, this one has higher volume on the long, but we're bearish, so we're not going to take this long, and it saves us, right? Then we have a bearish engulfing uh, a reversal here, but not enough volume. It doesn't have more volume than this buy candle. We can't take the trade. Here is a bearish engulfing, right? Closing at the lows. You might think that's too sketchy to take. Well, it has higher volume, so we'll get a good push out of it. Let's see if it hits TP. Boom, it goes 21 points. All right, my stop is 15 points. TP is 20 points. Right there. Hits. 20 points done. Now we're up 60 points in two days. All right. And we're still bearish. So we had a retracement in this order box to the left. We're still bearish. So we're looking for a short if there's a high volume candle. And there's a high volume reversal candle right here. We could take this short right here. See this candle close? We could take this short. Why? Because I said it's either reversal candle or engulfing. If you want to be safer, you go for the engulfing. So the next candle also has high volume and it's an engulfing. Why is it engulfing? Because it closed below the low of the body to the left. So again, you can take the short on this candle close because market structure is still bearish. We have a high volume candle, 20 point TP, 15 point stomp. Boom, hits right there. Done, two trades again, done in the first hour this time on Thursday, another 40 points. So that's another plus 40 points. 40 points in two trades, two cons equals plus 1.6K USD times 10 equals plus 16K USD. So now in two trading days, we have back-to-back -back 16K days. And um, those 10 funded accounts you know, cost me $1,000. So you know, I use $1,000 of my own money. And in two days, two, two trading days, I can make 32K. So the risk reward on using prop firms when you have a profitable strategy and that's the key when you have a profitable strategy and you've built a discipline to follow your strategy that's this two-part key you know there's there's profitable strategies and there's also the discipline to follow that strategy no matter what those are two separate things when we compare them together that's when i think it's time to use prop firms before you do any of that the hardest part is getting the profitable strategy and then believing in the strategy and you only do that through hours and hours and 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 days and days and months and months and years of back testing, back testing. So testing it, see it and play it out, you know, using FX replay to basically trade live with no money because you're just going through it as it's happening. Because that's a whole nother third thing. A third thing is it's one thing to look back on something and take a trade. It's a whole other thing to go to replay mode 
And before you see it, you take a look and you let it play out and then you take the trade. That's another thing, right? So I hope you found this useful and hit that thumbs up button. You appreciate it. I get really passionate about this because when there's things that help me with my trading, I just wish other people would also get that, that essentially shortcut and be on the right path because I know, you know, it can save at least some pain. I, I think everyone needs to go through a lot of pain in trading, but it can save some pain and some time saved by, by just, you know, watching other profitable tra traders give tips and strategies and just save you time. So keep back testing, try this, add volume into your trading strategy and see how it works. Hit that subscribe button if you want to see more. Thanks so much for watching. Look out for my next video coming out next Sunday when we get these accounts funded and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.